Beginning in 2019, I set a goal of challenging myself for 30 days on something that I have never done before. In February, I challenged myself to throw away an additional item every day for 28 days, because there are only 28 days in February. Throwing away an additional item means that February 1st I throw away one stuff, two item on the second, three on the third, and so on. After day 15, I've already thrown away over a hundred items, but I cannot continue because I had the conception that I don't have anything else to discard. At this point, I thought I had to forego the challenge, but here comes the turning point. I saw a book on training called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Mary Kondo and I ended up purchasing it. If there's only one takeaway from this book, it will be only keep things that spark joy. I acquired the knowledge I needed from this book. However, knowledge is not power, the application of knowledge is. I started to discard things by categories. I lay all my clothes, shoes, and accessories on my floor in my dorm. And as I go through each item, I ask myself the question, does owning this particular item bring me joy? If the answer is no, I will end up throwing it away or donating it. As a result, I got rid of almost half of what I had in my room. The hardest part at first was to have the confidence and courage to throw away any single item. As human beings, we tell ourselves that, what if we need this in the future? I should keep it just in case I need it. This idea is totally wrong. If there's something we haven't used in years, most importantly something that doesn't bring us joy, we might as well just discard it. As time goes, I have more courage in discarding items that don't bring me joy. As a result, I was able to enjoy my room and my life better. Seriously, yes. Unlike the past, which there are many unnecessary stuff in my room, everything I keep in the present gives me happiness. I started to live a better life with fewer things surrounding me. The fewer things you own, the fewer things own you. Throughout this 30 day challenge, I got a more organized, spacious room and I became a happier person. Discarding things that don't spark joy makes me focus on what's really important in my life. I'm really glad that I did this challenge. Although you might say I did not throw away 406 items, which I intended to do at the beginning. The discarding things does give you an organized space and spark joy in your life. In the meantime, to keep things tidy, the key is to stop purchasing unnecessary items. If you want to have a more meaningful life, I believe you should start to challenge yourself. It's never too late to have a new year resolution, a new month could be the beginning, a new week or even a new morning. Okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more and more content. And I'll see you next time. Peace.